Hi, I'm Sherry Stump. Thank you for joining me today. I'm reading from the devotional book, God's Amazing Grace by Ellen White. Today's reading is May 3rd, found on page 131. And the title of today's devotion is In Eden. In Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15, we read, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. The covenant of grace was first made with man in Eden, when after the fall, there was given a divine promise that the seed of the woman should bruise the serpent's head. To all men, this covenant offered pardon and the assisting grace of God for future obedience through faith in Christ. It also promised them eternal life on condition of fidelity to God's law. Thus the patriarchs received the hope of salvation. Adam and Eve at their creation had a knowledge of the law of God. It was printed on their hearts, and they understood its claims upon them. The law of God existed before man was created. It was adapted to the condition of holy beings. Even angels were governed by it. After the fall, the principles of righteousness were unchanged. Nothing was taken from the law. Not one of its holy precepts could be improved. And as it has existed from the beginning, so will it continue to exist throughout the ceaseless ages of eternity. After the transgression of Adam, the principles of the law were definitely arranged and expressed to meet man in his fallen condition. Christ, in counsel with his Father, instituted the system of sacrificial offerings, that death, instead of being immediately visited upon the transgressor, should be transferred to a victim which should prefigure the great and perfect offering of the Son of God. Through the blood of this victim, man looked forward by faith to the blood of Christ, which would atone for the sins of the world. The mission of Christ on earth was not to destroy the law, but by His grace to bring man back to obedience to its precepts. By His own obedience to the law, Christ testified to its immutable character and proved that through His grace it could be perfectly obeyed by every son and daughter of Adam. Thank you for being with me today. Please join me tomorrow when we'll read about Noah. And may God bless you abundantly above all you can ask or think.